All right, so a woman wisdom from the Rebbe for today. So the Medrash tells us that at the time that Haman was told he has to take Mordechai and parade him around the city, he went to find Mordechai, and he found that he was learning with 22,000 Jewish children. What was he learning with them, he asked the children. And the children told him that they were learning the rules of the base of Mikdash. And in the base of Mikdash, the Kohen would take, have to take a handful of flour in order to put it onto the base of Mikdash, called Kmitza. Now, seemingly, Haman said to them, how much does it cost? And they responded, it's worth 10 mana. To which Haman said, wow, your 10 mana was worth more than my 10,000 gold coins I was willing to pay Achashverosh. And at that time, God's mercy above was aroused. And he said, wow, what's that big noise I hear of sheep and goats down there below? Which Moshe Rabbeinu told him, no, it's not sheep and goats. It's the sound of your Jewish children who are learning Torah. And that aroused God to have a great mercy as they were learning Torah at the way of Messias Nefesh. They put their lives on the line. As we know that the Jewish children's mothers came to bring them bread and water. And they responded, no. Mordechai, our teacher, is sitting in fast, and we are fasting with him. We will continue fasting even if it will take our lives. Even if we're going to die from this fast, we are with it till the end. Now, seemingly, why didn't Mordechai use his diplomatic power? He was a big man in government. He should have arranged to be able to take care of the decree down here in the world. Why did he sit and learn Torah? The explanation is, because just like a doctor doesn't deal with the symptoms of a problem, he has to deal with the actual disease. The same issue with Mordechai. He knew that what's happening in the world is only a reflection of what's going on above. So you have to actually deal with the problem. And so he made sure to learn Torah and fix the way things are in heaven. And this is what he learned with them. He called them to learn the rules of the basic even though there was no base of Mikdash at the time, and there wasn't even relevant because they weren't able to build a base of Mikdash at the time. But still, Mordechai learned the Torah with the kids because it's the wisdom of Hashem, and he was teaching them, you always have to be ready for the base of Mikdash, be ready to go out of this Kalos, even though it doesn't seem relevant. And the children said, we're ready even though we're going to die. It's not going to be relevant for us. These weren't Kohanim's kids, but they were willing to learn the Torah of Hashem. The same is true in our generation. It doesn't matter what the world says. People try to make decrees, people try to destroy us in every single generation. When we learn Torah with children and don't get affected from them, we're revealing godliness in the world, and that will cause that we should actually have the base of Mikdash to be revealed down here in our world. L'chaim, l'chaim.